自分で履くからいやその必要はないな,な,になんだよ履かせろって言ったのはお前だろそうだけどでもそおい動くなよそんなこと言っても When it comes to anime and episode ones, I'm always talking about leading with your best foot forward. <laughs> and in the case of Aaliyah over here, with Aaliyah sometimes hides her feelings in Russian, that's exactly what we get. What's up, my fellow foot fetish aficionados? We're back, baby, with another anime. <laughs> uh, but for real, for real, I don't know, you know, um, Over the most recent years, I would say like the last five years or so, the uptick of feet shots in anime and like really, by the way, you can't even you can't even shit on it. Like really well done, really well animated feet shots in anime has just like gone up. Like, I mean, if this was your category, like whew, like it has Shot up like you're eating good, you're eating good season after season. I think there's something you know for everybody. There was that like, like sailor uh anime a, a couple of years back, I think, where it was like some girl in I don't know, some girl in school or something where it was all feet shots. There's my dress up darling. You have now you have Aaliyah. There's been like tons and tons of shows that have just really focused on that part of the body. And you know what? At the end of the day, like. You can say whatever you want. Maybe it's not your thing.、Uh, maybe it's not your、uh, cup of tea. Maybe you find it disgusting, whatever it is. But you know, you have to admit that at the end of the day,、uh, I think that the focus on that portion of the body as fan service, as opposed to other things that may kind of like cross the line a bit, it feels more、uh, like focusing on the feet and like the thighs. It feels.、Uh, Like something that is, like, I don't want to say you can get away with it, but like, when you focus on, you know, like one specific area, it does feel kind of like you're, you're getting into that,、uh, you know, nudie type vibe. But if, when you focus on the other part, as the other parts as your fan service, I just think that it's, it's not, I don't want to say acceptable, but I think that they can get away with a lot more because it really isn't crossing a barrier of, Things that shouldn't be seen. And I don't even know if that thought makes sense, but because it's like a, it's like your hand or an arm or your ears or something like that, like I just feel like it's just something that is、uh, more acceptable. And I feel like because it's a commonly seen body part that is、uh, not ever hidden or not, not meant to be exposed, I just feel like it's、uh, a good. I feel like it's good, it's fan service in a good direction. All right. I've talked about the, I talked about the feet for too long. All right. So, Aaliyah sometimes hides her feelings. I really think this is how you do an episode one. Like I said in the beginning, like this is how you put your best foot forward. And this is kind of like how you come and show off. Like a lot of people have a lot of different opinions when it comes to a brand new season, a brand new adaptation, a brand new anime. And most of those feelings end up being like, oh, you should give it two, three, four episodes before you really make a decision. And I'm on the other side of the court, really feeling like, you know, episode one is where you really hook your viewers and you give them 20, 25 minutes of like, this is why you need to watch this product, this show that we're putting forth. Like, episode one needs to come and snatch a viewer and say, you're going to come. For this ride on week number two.、Uh, and it's especially more important in Japan where these things are still broadcasted on television. So I've always said, like, you know,、uh, you know, a kid in Japan or a teenager or a grown person in Japan has to make the decision to come and show up at 7 30, 8 30, 10 30, 1am in the morning to watch a show. That's a big investment of time. So, episode one is crucial, but I think this one really nailed it. So,、uh, not only did it nail giving us a really good backstory, right? So, we have our, we have our character here,、uh, Aaliyah, who you know, is obviously Hadi m i k t a d i She speaks Russian, which is really, really cool. And it also gave us a, a secondary character in our MC,、uh, which、uh, his name is Masachika Kuze, okay? And essentially, his whole thing. 
uh, is he can understand the underlying things that Aaliyah is saying. So what she'll say is like, wow, you're such a loser, but you're so freaking cute in, in Russian. But she, she says it in Russian and she does it because, you know, he, he calls her like an exhibitionist. Basically, like she wants to be heard, but she doesn't want to be understood. Uh, and she wants to like sneak her thoughts out there. And instead of keeping it internal, she wants to like speak it. Uh, so, you know, it's very, very cool and a very, really cool thing to, to say. And this whole time he has to pretend like he's not hearing her. And his whole backstory was when he was a kid staying at his grandpa's house. Uh, he had a friend who he played with, uh, you know, who was also Russian. And to get closer to her as a kid, he began to, you know, ask her and learn Russian from her. And then on the side, learned Russian as well. Now, that immediately provides the show a twist because now you're thinking of like, oh, okay, I, now I want to know. I can see where this show's going. Now I really want to know, and I'm really interested, is was that girl that he played with that he obviously had a big crush on when he was a kid, was that Aaliyah? Was that the aforementioned Aaliyah's sister? Because they mentioned that Aaliyah had a sister. Uh, and imagine if it is, like, the girl that he played with. She had blonde hair. Aaliyah obviously has white hair. But, you know, it could, it's either one of two things. It's either Aaliyah or her sister and it's either that the reason he lost touch with them is because they moved away, then they came back to Japan or something like that, which is more than likely the case. So now it's like, okay, we can see the writing on the wall where this show's going. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I can't wait to see that spray painting on the wall. Like I I'm I'm so excited for that moment. And then the other portion of it too is Aaliyah is like an unapproachable type girl. Like she is kind of like awkward in her own way, but extremely popular because she's gorgeous. And the only person she's really close to is our boy, Masachika. And that's because she's been staying next to him for so long. And uh, she obviously has a big interest in him romantically. Uh, but she doesn't act on them. But she they have a really cool dynamic. Uh, and that's a really cool thing to see. And a lot of people can see their dynamic, which makes it even more cool. You know, which led to different moments like him... Uh, you know, her, you know, hit her threatening him to, you know, put the sock on me and stuff like that, which led to a really cool foot moment this episode and stuff like that. And I just really liked their dynamic quite a bit. Uh, and you think of everything else that's going on in the show, too, with, you know, him potentially maybe joining the student council, uh, him being friends with the student council president, childhood friends, because uh, he was once the vice president. He obviously has bigger aspirations now, like watching anime late at night, you know, uh, but potentially joining the student council. And then her sister remains kind of like an anomaly. And then he obviously has a little sister who he gets along with very well as well, too. So she'll probably come into the picture. So you can see a lot of different uh, things kind of like, okay, this 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 episode set up a lot of different things, like, you know, a lot of different characters coming into play uh, as these two kind of grow closer and everything else. And as he continues to bite his tongue, pretending not to understand uh, Aaliyah. And uh, at this point, he says they've been sitting next to each other for about a year. So it's like you can't really he can't suddenly expose that he understands all her Russian undertones as she continues to verbalize. Because if he does, that totally ruins their dynamic. And he knows that that would just set her off. So he continues to be quiet, even though that he knows that uh, she digs him. You know, and I think that's a really cool thing, too, is at least we know that our MC is not going to question uh, her liking him or not because she calls him cute. Uh, she basically offered to have an indirect kiss, and that's super important in Japan. Uh, and uh, she continues to say little tidbits. Uh, she continues to get, get embarrassed. Uh, you know, so everything points to she likes him now. It's just about what is our boy going to do in reaction to that light so anyways i think that dogo kobo uh that this is a really cool studio too they they they're always 50 50 but they generally do some good work you know they're doing oshinoko this year so they're putting up um, this season uh so they're putting up double work uh they a couple years ago or last year i think they had shikamori's not just a cutie which i loved i covered it here on the channel uh they had my senpai is annoying i didn't really like that one too much they've done luck and logic uh they have done what else what else did they do oh they did uh himoto uh, amuro chan which is a really really great show i really love that it's one of the one of the funniest uh ones for sure uh let's see what else have they done here they've done asteroid in love which was okay they did new game which i absolutely adore new game 
Uh, they did uh, Osi Maki, where rom com, where the childhood friend. That one's really good. And then they've done one of my top three favorite animes of all time, which is Monthly Girls Nozaki Kun. So, Dogo Kopo, they don't always have a hit, but like 50% of the time, they have like really, really awesome shows. And this one seems to be one of them just out the gate. So one of the best episode ones I've seen so far this season, although we're only a couple of episodes into the season with overall anime, this was just really fire one. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. There's a lot of things I didn't cover, a lot of nuances in the episode, but I think I got my message across. Let me know your guys' thoughts, and I'll see you guys next week for episode two. Peace.